and do a nice quick tutorial on how to make concrete with cracks in it so let's just get on with it so you're gonna go shift a add and then let's just go with a a cube and um, now what you're gonna do is you can go over to the shading and now we're gonna start shading it so you're gonna click on the shade click new zoom out Okay, then just move all of this over. Then what you want to do is you want to go and add in a color ramp. So add in a color ramp, then you want to add in a mix shader. You want to put the color to the vector and the color into the base color. And let's just turn off this world strength and bring this cube up and center it. Alright, now we want to also add a Musgrave. And then if you've got the um, the add-on, you want to go control T, go and connect it to the object. Connect the height into color one, and while we're here, we just want to uh, change the scale to 16 and take these down to zero and keep this at five. See, now we're getting the more concrete kind of texture. Then we want to go add a another color ramp, so we'll click on this one and go. Shift D and duplicate it and get the color into color 2 and Shift A add a noise texture. So we've got a noise texture, we're going to connect the noise texture and connect the factor to the factor and we're going to make the detail 16. We're going to do the scale up by I'm going to scale up by so it's 6 and the, this is to 4. And lastly, what we want to do to this line is we want to change this from mix to difference. Now we want to change this color to more of a concrete and a color I've got a hex code and it is B6 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 and that's the one that I want and I'm gonna drag this right up to around about 670 then we want to add in some bump nodes bump there and you just want to duplicate it and put another bump here. The bump goes into the noise and the bump goes into the normal and the strength you want to make it probably around about 0 0.36 and I want to make the strength around about 0.82 then we also want to get another color ramp so just duplicate color ramp and put the color into the height and we want to add a Voronoi texture so shift a search Voronoi texture connect this there to there and we want to change this to distance to which and now you've got a very kind of like cracked but you know we're still not done we've still got just a few more small details so now you're going to click on this and you're going to go, go control t and then you're going to grab these two and you're going to move them now you're going to shift that 
a mix RGB. Drop that there. And finally, shift A, a noise texture. Plot that there. All right. You want to move this and you want to connect the object to the vector. And we'll get in there, as you can see. I'm going to go into the detail and then it's 16. Scale can stay at 5, everything else is fine. And I'm going to change this to around about 750. Then I'm going to change the factor down a bit on this. It's around about 480, sorry, 480. You want to change this one down to 350. I'm going to take this right down to, I'm going to go 0 0.05. Also guys, I did a little bit of tinkering off camera and I'll put the the notes up on the screen now. It's just how I got the dirt kind of look in this. If you like it guys, please drop a like, it really helps out a load and have a good one.